my first Airbnb in Cornwall. So I started my trip in St. Ives, which is a place I've always wanted to come. The first time I ever heard about Cornwall, I started doing some research and the first place I saw that I was absolutely dying to visit was St. Ives, as well as St. Mike, some St. Mount Michael, St. Michael's Mount, St. Michael's Mount. Um, so here I am. First day of the trip of Cornwall is basically in St. Ives. And I'm gonna do a quick tour. I am not the best at doing tours because every time I get somewhere, I just simply drop my stuff and get ready. So things aren't as pretty as they should be. But, um, so I'll show you the room. I actually was struggling with um, accommodation for a while. So the only thing I got was not even a room, was a studio flat. Studio flat? Could you call this studio flat or even a flat? And it's really, really pretty. Um, I love the colors. It's very blue. So yeah, I've got my stuff there and my bicycle here. So just ignore that. Um, but yeah, you've got very beautiful blue walls. Um, there's a bed here. That will be the living room. Here is a toilet. So even the toilet has also the very nice blue colors. I really like the shower. It's kind of different. And then, hello, uh, we have the toilet. It smells actually really nice in the toilet. I don't know what it's probably that over there. Really nice scent. Okay, so then I'm gonna show you the living room. I actually had a friend who decided to join me on this trip at very, very, very last minute. Uh, his name is Mickey. Uh, he was in one of my vlogs, one of the Christmas vlogs from last year. So I don't know if you remember him. Um, if you're new to the channel, then definitely not. But he will come along uh, on this trip for the first six days. And after that, I'll do everything on my own. He's renting a car, which is amazing because instead of me cycling every single day as I initially planned, now I don't have to cycle every single day and I will keep the cycling mostly towards the end when he won't be with me. Um, right, so I was showing you there is like a tiny kitchen area, if you must. Uh, there's actually a tiny fridge. I think there is another name for that mini bar. I don't remember. They did a separate bed for him. If you request, they can do that for you. I think you pay extra 10 pounds or something. Um, there's some storage space, but that's mostly for the Airbnb. So yeah, I wouldn't put anything there. And then there's a sofa. And again, I really love the decoration of this place. It's super cute. Uh, we're only gonna stay here for one night. Even the outside is nice. Got distracted with the outside because it's nice. <laughs> so we're only gonna stay here for one night and then tomorrow we are going to a different accommodation actually because this one uh, was only valid for one day and I actually found another one that I'm really excited about uh, on another place. So yeah, now that I've settled myself, I'm gonna leave to start the exploring. After going for a bit of a walk, we stopped to try the famous Cornish pasties, which surprisingly, I didn't like it that much. I think the reason for it is the fact that it tastes like eating a regular meal, but inside of a pastry, and my taste buds got a little bit confused with it. I tried the beef one which had boiled potatoes, some veggies and a bit of beef. As we walked along the harbour that unfortunately was in low tide, we spotted St. Nicholas Chapel and we decided to walk all the way up for some pretty spectacular views over the beautiful seaside town.
that, we decided to go for a walk along the coast, starting at the harbour once again. Pass by Portminster Beach and walk towards Cardus Bay, which took way longer than I expected. And since I didn't get much sleep the previous night, we ended up just admiring the views on the way there and not actually reaching the beach. This is how I spent a nice afternoon in St. Ives on the first day of my Cornwall trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always I really appreciate you for following along on all of my trips and if you do want to support the channel then feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the notifications, leave a like and let me know what you liked the most on today's video. I'll see you guys next week with a vlog full of beautiful captures from a very nice coastal walk. Bye bye! Thank you.